of it. Uh, yeah, G2, I don't know. I think G2 are the only hope for the West, to be honest. Uh, only hope for Europe, only hope for the West. I, I don't, I think they're just like a cut above. They have a very unique style, which I don't think many other teams have in the world, you know. They play very unique champs. They probably have cooked up loads of other new unique champs for Worlds. And because of the uniqueness of their, their play style, I think this team is, um, yeah, they could either flop really hard or they could make top eight. I think they'll make top eight though. I believe in G2. I believe in them for sure. Especially when, I don't know, they, their scrims at MSI, they had a 52-54% win rate against BLG, Gen.G, T1 and JDG. And I think they've improved. And uh, this summer they were way more consistent than they were in spring and winter. And yeah, I don't know. I, I believe in I believe in them. I'm not a scrim merchant. Shut up. How far do you think G2 can go? Um, I don't know. I feel like it comes down a lot to the draw. Like who they play up against. I feel like a lot of, especially in single elimination knockouts, your draw is so important. You can either, like, if you get a good draw, you can finish semis or finals quite easy. Well, not quite easy, obviously. Easy is a terrible word to use. I would say, you know, like, for example, H2K got a great draw in, in 20, whatever the fuck. They had to play against a wildcard team and they win there in semifinals. Like, Fnatic had to play against Africa JDG Freaks to, uh, no, had to play against Cloud9 to get to the finals of Worlds, you know? Sometimes your draw can be kind of easy.